How are you today? Pretty good. Good. Right. I'm good. Okay. All right, so since I did mention in the interview <laughs> that we should get Russ in here and John because we have questions about the production. John, unfortunately, isn't here today, but... Yeah, um, but now that I have the opportunity, um, you were saying before how the control or the artistic direction almost shifted from the production to the artist, from the producers to the artists, and I really like that idea. Well, absolutely. You know, early on, um, Randy came out here to write songs and possibly do the artist thing, but she wanted to write songs more than, than anything else. And and so it started out as, as a writer doing demos, and and um, she hadn't spent a lot of time in recording studios, and so early on we kind of directed and led the, the charge, and she liked this and she didn't like that. But as we got further into it, you know, um, you know, she took control and said, I want it to be this or I want it to be that. And, you know, there's a, there's a, a beautiful scene in her EPK where she's jumping up and down excited at the microphones because she had directed everybody to cut a track a certain way. And when it got there, that's how she reacted. You remember that moment? Mm -hmm. and, and, and so we were like, oh, oh, I think I get it now. I think I know what she wants, you know. Um, but, but that's kind of how things shifted. And the, the latter recordings we did are, are pretty much mostly her where she wanted them to go with us pulling back some saying okay well, we can't quite do that right now but you know but she directed it and and i think that and as i was saying on the first single johnny cash uh we recorded that god almost two years ago a year and a half ago and and as we got further into the process she said you know i, I don't love that record anymore I, I we need to make some changes to, to to make it fit into what we're doing and and uh, which we did, and, and she was here with us when we did it, and, and very involved in choosing what happened. Um, again, you know, we were kind of pulling back a little bit, but but uh, you know, most of that was Randy said, "I want to do this, and I want to do that." And you know, to me, the more exciting time is going to be a year from now when when she's doing stuff that you know is completely all her. I see that coming pretty quick, you know, and and um, so she yeah she's completely involved in the production. She's learned her way around the studio and how things should sound and mm -hmm. what she wants it to be, you know, pretty much. Yeah, that's huge. And it one is. of the the big things that I thought was so great, and we talked about that before too, is the way she uses her voice. Is she was allowed by you guys, and then ultimately she allows herself to let the quiet parts be quiet and intimate, and the the belting parts be really free. Um, and it feels so so authentic. That it's something I, I've kind of missed. There's been a lot of filters and melodyne stuff <laughs> all over the place, and I've really missed those. That I'm connecting with a human voice. Absolutely, you know, um, I've been doing this a lot. It's my favorite phrase. I've been doing this a long time, um, and I told her early on I've never worked with a better singer. She, as a matter of fact, I think she's probably the, the best I've ever been in the studio with. And I told her that that's not the first time I said that. Thanks, Russ. Um, and it's like the first thing we say was she do that you know it's like her, her low end is so unbelievable with force and power and not just look at me sing there's also emotion attached to it you know and and I think that people really connect with that you know and and you think okay well well she did that on record let's see if she can do it live and quite honestly live's better than recorded you know if you hear her live mm -hmm. it's it's you know just it's and I don't know I don't know how she learned that I don't know where you got that, but it's unbelievable how she can do that and do it with emotion at the same mm -hmm. time. You know, yeah. it's, it's pretty unbelievable. Um, you know, I think that one, our, one of our guys on our marketing team said the other day, we ought to put a thing on the on the, 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 the record that says, no, no auto-tune, no airbrush. <laughs> you know? Nice. And they That's wanted nice. to do it. They wanted to do it. And I said, boy, I don't, I don't know if we can do that. The no not. filter hashtag for me. Yeah, yeah. hashtag no filter. Yeah. But she's really that beautiful. She really can sing that good, you know, and yeah. she wrote these songs. Yeah. You know, right. makes her own clothes, you know, fixes her own car. <laughs> Is that talented? Yeah. yeah, we heard about the car. We heard the car yeah. story before. Exactly. The, I'm trying to figure out a, because um, that shift, I think a lot of younger artists would have and should have sort of a deference to people like yourself who have been doing this for so, so long and have all this experience. Was it at any point, did you question, oh, maybe I shouldn't speak up, maybe I should wait? Um, what made you feel that comfortable in that relationship that you go, no, it's okay to have an opinion? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, I have, I mean, in general, I'm a pretty, like, shy, reserved person, so it took a while for me to be, like, 
fully myself and like now I can say anything and like <laughs> tell Russ that you know like I hate the way that sounds or I love that or whatever and I know I'm not gonna like offend him but um yeah I mean he's done so much and like worked on with so many incredible artists and done like so like his body of work is very impressive so like I definitely was a little intimidated and like didn't want to say that I didn't like something at first or whatever because um I was like well, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> but and he does, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's your name on the record, ultimately, which he knows more than anybody. So it, it, it needs to be that Now she knows we're all wandering in the dark looking for something <laughs> better. But, but yeah, you know, I mean, I, I think that what you're going to see in the future, um, I, I, and, and not to say I'm not excited about this record, because I really am, and I think it's really good. But I, but I, but I think that, that what she's going to do in the future is, is going to be even... I can't wait. Well beyond what this is. Mm -hmm. She's really found her footing in the studio and, and creating. And, and uh, you know, she's been writing songs a long time, but I think she's really come into her own just recently. We've talked about this on where she's going and what she's doing. And the, and some other people she's cre that she's connected with, she's creating songs with. And, and uh, you know, I fully expect that the, the, a lot of the next things we do, I'll probably just kind of be peering over her shoulder and looking, looking in, you know, and saying, that's great, guys, you know, or... Because she's, she's getting a real good sense of where she wants to be. And I, th I think that's true of all real artists. You know, she's not just a singer. She's, she's you know, really an artist and, and knows what she wants to say and how she wants to say it. And, and uh, I think she's really finding her voice, you know. And I, and I think it's going to be real evident in, in the near future. So, you know, it's exciting to watch. I, it's, and yeah. I don't say that every day, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. I've worked with a lot of artists that... You know, it was kind of a process, and, you know, we did pretty good, but, you know, even so, they never kind of found themselves completely, and I, I think she's in the process of doing that, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I, this was, um, this is a record, like we said before. Like, this isn't just a bunch of songs. It's a record. It's got substance. It sounds real. It's got really interesting sonic stuff going on. The voice is amazing. The writing is great. How much more can you take of this? So I can't wait to hear to hear a full record. Well, and to hear where even, she's even going more is, maturing yeah. and yeah, get more yeah. experience. Because I can't imagine that there was a single radio station that you played that didn't like this. Well, I, I hope just not. <laughs> yeah. whether you know PDs and all that mm -hmm. politics. That's a different story. But I can't imagine that the people who were there hearing you play live. Um, I just can't imagine that there was anybody who went meh. Because well, it's you. just, it's not the meh kind of music. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You know, and the good thing is, you know, is that we're not really trying to chase anything. She's kind of doing what she does. And and, and I think that, that it's going to be even, like I said, more evident in the near future. You know, I think we kind of tiptoed in the beginning trying to find the direction. And I think that, that it, it, you know, as we tried to find it, she showed us what it is. And, and, and she knows what it is. And we're just kind of following now. All and right. I think the future is going to be great. I'm, cool. I'm excited. I'm sure you are, you are too. too. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks. I'm going to get a change of clothes, come back and do it again. Okay. <laughs>